All right, you back with the jacks. This here is a special video going out to two people very important to me. My two sons. I don't know if I'm going to make more of these or not. But there are some things I need to tell you in case you ever run across this video. about what went down and why I can't be there and why I missed all your accomplishments and things like that. Now I'm just going to start with the beginning where, excuse me while I gather my thoughts, but I'm starting at the beginning where that day on Lucas birthday first birthday when you're a deplorable despicable mother kicked me out of the apartment that was technically still mine my name was still on the lease my name was still on the LGNE was still mine Zach, you might remember most of this because you were four. Hopefully you remember a lot more than I, than most people will give you credit for it. I can only assume. And I wish I hadn't started this video in portrait because now it's stuck like this now. So. I had broken up with your mother because I wasn't happy and she wasn't happy and most of the time all we did was argue and you should know that Zach if you remember anything you remember that well I wanted both of us to be happy but she wanted to get vindictive and and sinister My friends, which she would not have if it wasn't for me, so we can say our friends, but technically they're my friends, because, because if it wasn't for me joining Occupy Louisville, she wouldn't have any. So my friends... open the door to let me in as I upheld my end of the bargain that we made when I moved out which was until I got a job I would come see you two every other day which I did every other day all of this stays fresh in my mind as a living nightmare. So, I was over there on Lucas' first birthday. And she was in the bedroom being lazy, watching TV, while my friends took care of the both of you like they always did. Unless I was over there, then I took care of you solely. I'm there, maybe 10 minutes, taking care of Lucas, getting ready to feed him, before she struts out the bedroom, shirking her parental responsibilities, as she had been doing since I had moved out, moving my friends in, abusing them, taking advantage of them, making them take care of our kids and told me I had to leave. Told me I wasn't allowed to 
be in your apartment. Without her man-child of a boyfriend present, even though it was still my apartment and I was still on the lease and the bills. And I admit, lost my temper because it was crazy. But what I did was I lost my temper and I cussed her out. And your Uncle Will was with me. And he could recant that, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what lies or deceit she tells you. Or it's told her side of the family, your side, other side of the family. I can promise you, <laughs> most of them are going to be false. But, truth is, I did lose my temper. I did yell and cuss and things, and Zach, I'm pretty sure you remember. But, the things she probably said I did, I did not do. The things she co told the courts, and that royal bitch, Judge Eleanor Garber, who apparently hates men, is racist and just listens to everything a woman says. I didn't threaten to kill anybody. I didn't threaten to shoot anybody. Nobody. Because one, they're my friends. They were my friends first. And so I got mad and me and your Uncle Will left. A couple days later, she put a domestic violence order on me. The domestic violence order is when one spouse or close friend is abusive to the other in ways that are inhumane, whether it's verbally or physically. And the order went through. So, even though I'm technically still supposed to be with custody, supposed to be joint custody, I can't see you. And it has been 10 years. When I technically still have the right. And when they arranged for visitation, once again, she lied to the courts. Luckily, by that time, that horrendous, sad, poor, pitiful, cunt uh, Judge Eleanor Garber had already retired, and I had another judge. But she lied to them and said that I had to. that I had to uh, talk to uh, the HANDS program to Lucas physical therapist and learn his things before I could begin visitation. And I called that doctor several times And one day she picked up or she called me back. And after explicably explaining the situation on several messages, she told me that her manager told her not to answer the phone. 
And she also explained to me that that she had no information whatsoever about any court proceedings that will lead up to the visitation that I was supposed to get with you too. Which was fucking annoying. So she ruined that with lies and deceit. And, and, and perjury. It was fucking perjury. She perjurized the court. And they just let it go. So. And. Because she's so vindictive. And so petty. Not only do I get to see you. But. Neither did your grandma. And your granddad. My mom and dad. And hasn't seen you, Zach, since that day that me and my girlfriend at the time came over to my mom's house. So, and you will never see your grandpa again because he died. I don't know if you two know he died. And it wouldn't even take y'all to the funeral or the wake. So that is all I'm going to say now because I am at my destination. I love you boys. And I guess there will be another video.